This year, more than 4,000 Nebraskans have been told they're getting evicted. Thousands more might be added to the list because they're behind on rent. 3 News Now investigator Aaron Sanderford found there's a lot of help out there, but not everyone knows how to get it. Many Omaha renters who face evictions end up in Douglas County Court. This is where local renters, landlords, and lawyers try one last time to work things out. We watched tenants on Wednesday work with volunteer lawyers and landlords to negotiate payment plans or move out dates. Many avoided eviction judgments. Such judgments damage a renter's credit and make it harder to lease a next home. The local bar association got lawyers to offer eviction court tenants free help. Fair housing advocate Aaron Feistinger says renters are getting better results, including more time to pay or move. I think the biggest difference is that there's just someone in the middle of this process who can figure out how to problem solve there in the moment. City Councilwoman Amy Melton was one of several lawyers volunteering this week. Douglas and Sarpy counties are still covered by the CDC eviction moratorium. But groups that track Nebraska evictions still see thousands of filings, including more than 2,000 this year in Douglas County. We are seeing in the eviction filings certainly the same hot spots that we have seen traditionally um, in East Omaha and North and South Omaha, but we are also seeing a growing problem out west. But there's also rent help shy of heading to court. Erin Painter, a librarian at UNO, saw her household finances hit by the pandemic. Her partner and artist worked part-time before his job was cut. They made due on expanded unemployment benefits until June when Governor Pete Ricketts stopped taking them. You do the math in your head every night, right? How much is left on this card? How much is left on that card? How much do I have left in the checking count? What still has to go through? How many days do we have left? Painter saw something online about rental assistance. It's a program that helps people struggling because of COVID-19 pay for some of their rent and utility costs. And it's hard to ask for help when you need it, you know? Um, if it's hard to go to somebody with your hat in your hand when you really need the help, right? Because you're scared they're gonna say no. There's, you're scared they're going to think, oh, well, you know, they must be wasting their money on X, Y, and Z. All she needed to apply was a copy of her lease agreement, proof that she'd lost income during the pandemic, income tax records to prove her income levels qualify, and copies of utility bills. She says they got three months of rental assistance. I'm a better employee overall. I'm a better human overall because I don't have that stress right right now, and I'm able to, um, you know, be a better partner and family member. Um, uh, but pushing, pushing through it and, and, and overcoming that pride and overcoming the, the rigmarole of the paperwork, um, if you can get through that, the sense of relief is just amazing, like, you know, 100 pounds off my shoulders. Randy McCoy, who runs the Metro Area Continuum of Care for the Homeless, says more people should apply. His group handles Douglas County applications. He says they've helped at least 3,200 households in Omaha. They've sent out more than $20 million in rental aid. Yes, uh, we have set it up to be an online application, although there are uh, workarounds to that. Um, you can call 211 and start the application. There are opportunities for you to drop off hard copies of the documents as opposed to uploading them uh, online. Um, all of the Omaha Public Libraries have drop boxes. People who live outside of Douglas and Lancaster counties might need to hurry. The state wants people in Sarpy and smaller counties to apply by September 30th. Officials say the state won't be able to spend enough of the federal money they receive to avoid the risk of the Treasury Department reassigning that money elsewhere. Nebraska has $158 million in emergency rental assistance available, but it's on pace to spend less than $10 million by the deadline. They needed to spend 65 percent. We are really hopeful that we're going to retain some money and that they're going to give us enough to keep the program running for the next you know, year but we, we don't know and they haven't provided us with anything definitive. So it's just apply as soon as you can. The federal aid formula set aside more for Nebraska counties outside of Douglas and Lancaster, even though most of the state's renters live in those two counties. The state saw its weekly rental aid applications climb to a high of about 190 a week in early August when the original evictions moratorium was set to expire. Applications dropped back to its average of about 130 when the current moratorium took effect. Douglas County, in contrast, averages about 300 applications a week. What that tells me is that people are procrastinating. They're hoping that it, they're kicking this can down the road and that 
uh, there'll be maybe another save or another thing that, that means they don't have to go through this process. But that's not the case. Local landlords say they aren't yet seeing high numbers of people avoiding paying rent. But John Chatelain, who represents the Metro Omaha Property Owners Association, says he worries about the potential financial stress of limits on evictions. Well, potentially this could be a huge challenge. Uh, as the moratoriums keep getting extended and extended, uh, more tenants are going to realize that they don't have to pay the rent. Painter was lucky. She and her landlord worked things out together. She says the aide helped her handle an unexpected car repair in stride. Oh, me before was, um, I mean, just tense. It's, it's like you always have static in the background, like that white noise. Always. Everything was, was, a, was a big deal. Um, and with that stress level reduced, I'm able to take, you know, even my car being much more complicated in stride. Aaron Sandiford, 3 News Now. Housing advocates told Sandiford, Nebraska has been slow to promote the statewide rental assistance program and several people told us local homeowners might soon need a similar program to help them catch up on mortgage payments. For more on how rental assistance is doled out in Nebraska, including where to apply, visit our website 3newsnow.com. And if you have a story idea for us, please email us to investigate at 3newsnow.com.